This is Erica, my wife. I brought her from Sweden to Canada for the adventure of long haul driving. Oh, that's why. <laughs> this is Marcus Nilsson. He's a long haul driver. We are. Came from Sweden one and a half year ago to work for Agrifresh. I had long, a long going plans of, of, of actually moving to Canada and do long haul driving. But then I met Erica. And the I first, asked you, yeah, the I asked thing. you first thing, <laughs> after two days, I asked you, what, what do yeah. you think about moving to Canada? And she was, yeah, why not? So let's do it. That's true. And we did. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing more. Canada is number one at the list of the world's best countries. Sweden is number two, so. We had to go with I rest my case. <laughs> we had to go. See where if it was possible, then it is. Yeah. One of my friends he said, "Oh, this company is uh, is uh, doing uh, recruiting for Europeans," and I thought it was nice because here in Canada it's a small business. In Europe it's a big business, 35 trucks, something like that. But here it's a small business, and I, I wanted. A little bit more personalized. Uh, those big companies, you know, you're just one out of 500 drivers or 200 drivers. It's. I know my boss. I talk to my boss, and I like that. I want it that way. So uh, it felt good, and I, I found, I found the application on the internet, and. You show me, Agrifresh home yeah. homepage, and I liked it. Right. It looks good and the fresh and healthy thing and it just felt good. It looked professional, we uh, knew it existed, it wasn't a hoax, <laughs> to be honest. You look at the good. trucks, nice, neat, clean, well maintenance, that's the way I want it. We applied, Yeah. it took five months until we arrived here. So I just, you know, day one, just started to sell out the furniture, everything, just yeah, and tons it was of light. paperwork. We had to translate every paper and... Working with translators, yeah. working with uh, authorities, uh, <laughs> IRS, what's they called in Canada, CR? CRA. CRA, yeah. It's not easy always. Uh, Swedish MPI or even worse, and then you have to get it translated. You are going to sell out a house of 4,000 square feet of furniture and yeah. everything, and pack it up. So yeah. it was it was uh, uh, intense, intense period. Uh, Lots of papers, but if we can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> Most right? definitely, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, if, if we can do it, yeah. Absolutely. And everything ended up in four bags. Four bags, two each, just... <laughs> the first thing, we landed in Edmonton after 24 hours travel. Exhausted, you know, we're here now. The customs, just... Wait a minute. <laughs> right. Oh, this doesn't look good. We uh, might be uh, having to send you back on the next plane back. <laughs> what? Yeah. I think they just play around. Yeah, with they've they tricked us for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why, but it was exhausting. But I think they just tested us. Yeah, I think so too. I was just like, okay, do whatever you <clears throat> need to. But they, after four hours, they everything was dandy. Really? Yeah, we got our work <laughs> permits and uh, and uh, did our biometrics and all of that, and we checked in at a hotel and there was a thunderstorm. So the lights went out and we didn't have a credit card. So it took us two more hours just to check in at the hotel. So yeah, it was a 30 plus long day. But besides of that. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> no, but it's what, it's a, when, when you're in it, sometimes you, uh, to be honest, when you're in it, you're just like, I, I, I'm giving up, I give up. But then you push. We are too, it's easier. 
then yeah. I push her, she pushed me, and and finally you get to the goal. You land in Canada, you're, you're tired, you're exhausted, you have two bags each, and you're just like, okay, what's new? Everything. Yeah, but day two, Randy came and he took care of us and just drives around and fix, you know, everything. Paperwork. Insurance, everything, yeah. so just, it felt so good. Randy just calm down, I fix, you know, so that was a real good thing because you don't know nothing. It's a completely new system. Everything is new. Yeah. How to buy a car, how to insure a car, how to do safety on it. Everything is brand new. Everything. What's the price on a, on a flat, on an apartment? You don't know how much you supposed to pay on, on rent, for example. You don't know anything, actually. So, uh, so that is important that someone just shows you stuff. Six o'clock in the morning, we open up the door on the truck here, just on the yard, <laughs> and just shove everything in. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Our four bags plus a little extra. And off we went. Yeah. And it was, we were loading. We didn't Oats have at any the time, we didn't know yeah. anything about the companies. We got a paper, you go into this address, remember helmet, glasses and safety shoes and everything, but you don't know anything. And we had a trip down to Phoenix. Yeah. And uh, it was a No GPS. No nothing. No. But it was a beautiful trip. Absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful trip. And we still we sat like this the first day and we still do. Every yeah. day we just wow. Yeah. It's Every amazing. Day. It's amazing actually. Mostly because of the views, yeah. but we're tired as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You answer that. <laughs> I just uh, thinking about what the name of the the duct tape. <laughs> no. No. Actually, so many people ask us that question. Why aren't you two just split up or dead? Killing or, each other. Yeah, but I think I have the gold medal in patience. Yes, you do. I'm a good listener. No, but yeah. Yes, that's you part, are. <laughs> part yes, of the are. truth, but we're having fun all the time. I think the thing that's is, the key. Yeah, the thing, thing is, we, we have the same values about yeah. st stuff, everything, like everything how we want things to be run, so to speak. But we are very different as persons. I'm a oh, noisy guy. She's not. She brings me down, I push her up, and we complete each other. That's why. Yeah. But the same values. We have the same values, but different personalities. That's. Yeah, but the same kind of uh, humor. <laughs> Yeah, what? if you want to call it humor, for yeah. us it's humor. I think that's the most Im <laughs> most important thing, actually, just yeah. to... We're ha having a have laugh. It. Yeah. That's we have our days as well, but it's... If we have a fight, it's over in 32 seconds. Because yeah. there is not an option. Stop the track, let me off. Can't happen. It's, it's not an option. You have to work it out. I've been doing this for 25 years almost in Europe and there is a different mindset, there is a different uh, way to approach things here than I'm used to and I'm here so I have to adapt to that and that's the, that's the main problem for me. In, in, in Sweden my boss bought me a truck and said it's, it's yours. I maintained it, I uh, did all the safeties, I greased it up, uh, I took care of it. Like, and here, uh, maintenance, take care of that. You kind of don't need to do that. And, and, and um, in the beginning, I'm, uh, I'm, well I hate that word, old school guy. I don't like computers, I don't like emails and stuff like that. I'm, 
I'm used to calling my dispatcher and talk to him. And I do. Me and my dispatcher, our dispatcher, we have a good, co um, what do you say, cooperation. Today. Communication yeah. as well. We communicate in a good way. I think he likes it, I like it. And, but it's, it's many things that are different, so to speak, that we're not used to. It's just two similar things. It's the steering wheel and we transport the goods. Yeah. That's the two things. Similarities. That are, yeah. Everything, Everything else, else is, is different. How, how to... How to load, how to secure the load. The papers. Paperwork. Uh, waiting everything. time. Everything. Everything is different. We don't have any waiting time in, in Europe because we're so short on, on ELD. Uh, hours of service time so we actually just back up to bridge get the load off and off we go and you're paid by the hour in europe and everything is different so yeah so it, it, that, it, it's a big difference i just want to try to tell them that it's it's different it's very different but i love every second of it I never thought of driving a truck. I have never been in a truck <laughs> ever before, before I met him. Yep. So. I brought you to Holland, didn't I? To, yeah, the first week. <laughs> yeah. So you have to be open minded and just try it out. Have fun. Yeah. Other people can just say, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I dream of that. But we try it, and I think that's the main reason we you have to try things yeah. mainly it's it's you're not in your country you come to canada they're doing it the canadian way bear that in mind and don't give up exactly uh, there is there is a lot of paperwork it's it's going to be Rough times, hard times, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Absolutely, it's worth it. Yeah, it's the freedom. It's hard work. Absolutely, do it. Don't give up. And we are about 25 other drivers here. Just ask us. Give us a call. Just. Yeah, we, we are here to answer yeah. questions. Absolutely. We and we have the best colleagues. Uh, the, we have about 25 other drivers, yeah. and we talk to them. Russians, Serbs, from uh, everywhere. Belgians, the best guys, every everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. So just do it. Got the best view from my office. The best view. Can't beat that view. Yeah. One day in Montana, next day in California, third day you're in southern Utah. Uh, or Saskatchewan. Oh well, yeah. You can so, see your dog on the run for two days in Saskatchewan. Yeah, but... <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an adventure. Forest fires, last year's forest fires in, in California, we were actually driving right through it. The wildfire, yeah. Yeah, wildfires in California. It's a bad thing, but it's it's there. Um, we stopped in Las Vegas, we stopped by the Pacific, we stopped at the worst places in Yuma or <laughs> whatever. It's disgusting, scary places. And the most beautiful places. Yeah. Actually, of you're, sitting, so you're sitting in Utah going into Arizona and, and you see all those buttes. And you're just expecting uh, John Wayne coming around the corner behind a cacti uh, cactus. Vegas is a favorite for us, for example. Yeah, we drove through Vegas the day they closed, March 18th. 18. We were about to celebrate our anniversary, wedding day. It yep. Just they actually closed Vegas that day. You weren't allowed to get into a casino to use the bathroom. I opened up the door and there was a security guard and he said, move. And I said, I just need the bathroom. And he said, it's closed. And I said, lock the doors. And then I looked at the door and there was no lock. So they never closed Vegas before. <laughs>
but they closed at our anniversary, of course. Yeah, and we drove to Vegas today. They open up again. Yep. So we went wow. down to the Bellagio Fountain. And now we uh, drive through the United States. There is, is an election going on, and yeah, yeah. Every day is an adventure. There's always something new. Yeah.